Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw as we are coming to you live from Raleigh, from Raleigh North Carolina. Is it North Carolina? Yes, it is North Carolina. Anyways, welcome to Monday Night Raw. And starting off Monday Night Raw, we've got Dave and Jake Chris of OVE taking on Franklin Clinton and Michael DeSanta of Trevor Phillips Industries. As we are starting Monday Night off, my, Monday Night Raw off with a bang with this tag team match. Don't go anywhere. This match is starting right now. So stay tuned for that. Here we go, this match is underway. Franklin Clinton going on the attack with Dave Chris with a clothesline, but misses, and here we go. F suplex throwing sh Franklin over shoulders. On the submission. Punches by Franklin. Uppercut. Oh, for a drop kick. Franklin going for something, but Dave Chris with a reversal. Oh, he's got him in the leg lock. Figure four leg lock. Is Franklin going to break free? And he does successfully. These two teams, former Raw Tag Team Champions, are probably going to go after the Tag Team Champions who are currently held by... David Williams and Daniel Lowe at the moment. You can see that Dave Chris being thrown out of the ring by Franklin. Thrown back into the ring while the referee starting his ten was doing his ten count. Franklin being thrown out of the ring. Almost. You can see Dave Chris trying to tag in his partner. Oh, board. Oh! Elbow! And a drop kick, but misses, and a double foot stomp to the, to the midsection of Franklin. Reversal. Drop kick. Jake Christ calling for his brother. Tag him in. Here we go. Oh, go for the bicycle kick, but a clothesline from the back from Franklin. I think it's about time that Franklin's going to tag in his partner. My uh, here we go. Double super kick. Super kick. Suplex. Spearing Jake Chris out of the ring and Michael just taunting one half of OVE, one half of the Chris brothers. Referee starting his 10 count. Go. Scoop slam. Jake Chris crawling to his brother Dave. Hoping to go, go after the tag. But he doesn't. Look at the strength of Michael DeSanta. Oh my goodness. Now an Irish whip off the ropes. for a bicycle kick as well by Michael but oh and a neck breaker on the on the on the leg of Jake Chris A 
What's Dave Chris up to here? Oh, reversal. Oh, just reversal with, with such potential. Trying to injure the right arm of Michael. Dave Chris just taunting the fans here in North Carolina. Oh, he's got him in the camel clutch. But the rope break comes into play. Michael rolls himself out of the ring. And a scoop slam. One Michael is going for over the drift away. Here's the cover and the rope break comes into play once again. And you hate to see that, don't you? No, duplex. Oh, and a reversal by Dave Christ. And a clothesline by Michael. Again, double tag team. What's going on here? Oh, double elbows. Broadcast is laggy. We do apologize if the production team is working their best to fix the problem. So, hang tight on that. Irish whip off the ropes. Up kick. And Zaviri taking down Dave Chris and now Franklin going to the top. For a splash. Or for Centon. Here's the cover. Oh, and a kick out at two by Dave Chris. Crossbody, but out of the way, Dave Chris with the clothesline. Dave Chris trying to injure the arm of Frank, injure the left arm of Franklin. He might do that. What's Dave Chris up to? Oh, face buster. Kicks to the med section and an elbow to the side of the head. Chris is just gonna pick up the pin here. A kick out at one. Franklin wisely rolling out of, rolling out of harm's way. Getting back into the ring. Drop kick. Michael tagged in. for the drift away, but Dave Chris did a reversal. And now he's going for the figure four leg lock. Figure four. Michael gonna tap. Michael breaking free. Breaking free of the submission. Successfully does that. Oh, going for an attack, but reversal and throws Michael out of the ring. has been outside of the ringside. We're going at it out here outside and the referee now at four. Almost at four. He, now he's at four. Michael Irish whip off the rope. I'm going for a clothesline. And 
in that devastating knee, taking down Dave Chris, and Michael's got his eyes on Jake Chris. Oh, and takes him out. Oh, Michael, he's going to roll the dice. Roll the dice. Oh, and Jake Chris, no, Dave Chris busted open. Here's the cover. And that's it. Trevor Phillips Industries with another successful win. Trevor Phillips Industries has been on a winning streak as of late. A few losses, but to them that's nothing compared to the to the to the victories they have earned in these match in these tag team matches. They got to feel really proud about that. They just pulled another victory against David Jake Christ of OVE here tonight on Monday Night Raw, live from Raleigh, North, North Carolina. Here are your winners, Franklin Clinton and Michael D. Santos, The Industry. And up next, it is the it is Randy Orton taking on the United States Champion Will Ospreay. Randy Orton is not alone; he is accompanied by his tag team partner, the Rated R Superstar Edge, as Team Rated R KO are going to be in the match against Will Ospreay. But Will Ospreay is going to be facing Randy Orton. Edge is going to be on the lookout if. Randy no Randy Orton needs some help trying to pull up the victory here in this match. Here we go, this match is underway, and... Oh! You could have seen, you should have, you seen that. Randy Orton was being hyped up by Edge. Oh, Osprey on the attack now. Oh, and a flip taking out the Viper outside of the ring. And a drop kick, and the referee's at five already. These two need to get back into the ring. And a drop kick by the Viper, taking down the aerial assassin and the current United States champion. Oh, Will Ospreay. Receiving a suplex by the Viper. Oh, Ospreay needs to be careful about Randy Orton's RKO. This is going to be the, probably going to be the first time he's ever received that here on Monday Night Raw. Ospreay with the attack. Stomps on Randy Orton. Edge just looking out for his tag team partner. He's gonna do any. He's gonna do everything in his power for his friend Randy Orton to to, to pick up the victory here. here we go, Will Osprey throwing Randy Orton off, off the ropes, going for a flip, drop kick, taking down Will Osprey by Randy Orton. Oh, 
Irish whip off the ropes. Devastating power slam. Delivered by the Viper, Randy Orton. Kick. Punch by Randy Orton taking down Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay is not looking too good in this match. Randy Orton is coming out on top. Will Ospreay turning the tables. Going for a drop kick, but does not connect. Oh, a suplex. Osprey trying to. Oh, Osprey kicking Randy Orton to the corner and throwing him to the other side of the ring. Oh, and a crossbody. Drop kick. Randy Orton is just dragging him to the middle of the ring. What's he going for here? Going for another drop kick. A kick to the back to Randy Orton and Will Ospreay. You can see him hyping up the crowd here. Oh, and a kick to the midsection. You can just tell that Randy Orton is just waiting for an opportunity to strike, ready to, to apply the RKO. He's still trying to figure out when. Will Ospreay. Not getting, giving him a chance. Just waiting patiently. Go. RKO! RKO applied. And a kick out by Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay kicking out of Randy Orton's RKO. Apparently that wasn't enough to put him away. Randy Orton's got some more tricks up his sleeve as he delivers another devastating and powerful slam. There's the cover. And a kick out. Stomps. Osprey going for the jawbreaker. That devastating jawbreaker and now he's going. Oh no, Randy Orton's better watch out. Oh! And here's the cover. And a kick out by the Viper. Randy Orton, he's still got a, he's still got a bit of fight left in him. He's got to be careful for Will Ospreay. Drop kick, no. Oh, and Randy Orton. Going for the middle rope DDT. And it connects. Go for another one. Go for another RKO. And here's the cover. And that's it. The Viper strikes again. Randy Orton delivering a second RKO, putting away Will Ospreay. The first RKO didn't do anything, but the second one took out Will Ospreay. You can see the United States Champion not happy with the outcome of this match. Received two RKOs and a middle rope DDT. That's got to be that's got to be something for the United States champion, but what do I know? I'm just commentating doing my job. But up next, we've got the Raw Women's Tag Team Champions Jessica DeChico and Cassandra Morris taking on Charlie and Vaggie of the Hotel Profits here on Monday Night Raw.
And here we go, this women's tag team match is underway. Jessica DeChico, one half of the Raw Women's Tag Team Champions, going after Charlie and delivering a devastating scoop slam. And now she's going for a suplex. Th throwing Charlie down to the ground. And now Charlie's being thrown into the corner. Jessica DeChico wasting no time to deliver a spear. Charlie and Vaggy, also former Raw Women's Tag Team Champions. Every single women's tag team on the Raw Women's Division wants a shot at the Raw Women's Tag Team titles currently held by Jessica DeChico and Cassandra Morris. Including women's tag teams who were, met, who were not Round the Raw Women's Tag Team Champions, such as Kizuki Miyumi of the Moonflower Alliance. And another spear. Just gonna cheek with the stomps. Applying the pressure, using the knee on the back of Charlie's neck. That's not a good a position to be in. But a club. Close line delivered to Charlie. Maggie wanted to be tagged in. Jessica Chico's not gonna let that happen. Trying to crack the neck of Charlie. Those devastating moves and now clothesline taking out Charlie, but that was really botched. Tilt to world backbreaker. Oh, and Vaggy took been taken out. Jessica Chico going for the attack. Oh, she's going for it. Setting it up. Going for the Chico DDT. Here's the cover. Oh, and Vaggy saves her partner from getting pinned. Jessica DeChico is still f is still dominating this match. She just needs to work. She just needs to f work and find a way to put away both Charlie and Vaggy in this tag team match. Charlie calling to her partner. Oh, and Cassandra with the drop kick. Flex. Or a brain buster. Whichever you prefer. I don't care. Off the ropes. Oh. I believe she was going to go for a power slam. Oh. Maggie trying to throw Cassandra out of the ring. Using the ropes to her advantage. What the fuck was that? Some type of magic trick? was that was not a good one teleported right out of the ring and a power slam power slam to Charlie oh here we go that is going for it going for the cover and a kick out Uppercut taking down Charlie. Over another power slam. This time going for the cover. And a kick out again by Charlie at two. Sandra just taunting the crowd. Holy no Holy North Carolina. I don't know how to I don't know how to pronounce the uh, pronounce the city right. Anybody from North Carolina is saying, oh, you're pronouncing it wrong. I apologize. Uh, Charlie. Oh, with that stunner-like move. Uh, she's, she's hyped up now. Here she goes. 
Drop kick. Neck breaker. Over a drop kick once again. Thank you down Charlie. Go for a rocket kick. Trying to take out Maggie once again, just just so she can't interrupt the tag team break, the tag team pin, not break up. And now she's taken out. Oh shit! Off oh, her drop kick. Charlie with the kick to the midsection. Irish whip to the corner. Baggy tagged in once again. Off the top rope. Nice cover. And a kick out. No. Almost had her comeback completed, but Here we go again. Oh, almost had it again. Tried that. Oh well, she tried. And the arm bar, the arm bar applied. And they're gonna tap. Elba breaks free. Irish whip, hip toss. Charlie and Vaggy. I'm gonna I'm gonna run a little um, tag team something on these two. These two haven't been on a winning streak as of late. Always losing matches. And they were also Raw Women's Tag Team Champions. I can see. But lost the tag titles to. I, I'm thinking. Okay. Damn it, brain. You're supposed to remember shit. There we go, German Suplex. Okay, Chico tagged in. Drop kick. Oh, and throws Baggy out of the ring. Now taunting the crowd here in early North, North Carolina. Referee starting his 10 count. We are already at two. Oh, Baggy on the attack. Chico with the attack and going for the all oh, going for a fisherman suplex. And a gut buster. No Irish whip. To the ropes. Corner. Unicorn stampede. Very popular move with the tag teams. I don't know why, but let's just go with it, shall we? Let's just go with it. I'm not even gonna ask after. It. I'm not not even gonna ask anymore. There we go, Charlie with the pin and a kick out. Almost had it. Almost had the win. Now she's going for the submission. Submission applied. Is Jessica going to tap? Oh, Jessica breaks through this ho the hold. 
And a spear. Now she's ready. Now she's ready. Maggie taken out. For a spine buster. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Almost had it. Almost had it. Almost had it. Oh, and I smell tag team finisher. Here we go. And here's the cover. And that's it. AC High Flight take home the victory. And up next, we've got Alistair Black taking on Kurt Hawkins, or now is known as Brian Myers. These two are going to clash here tonight on Monday Night Raw. But knowing his winning streak as of late, Kurt Hawkins, a.k.a. Brian Myers, is probably not going to last a minute in this match against Alistair Black. And if he does, it'd be a miracle if he does. There we go, this match is underway. Oh, and Alistair Black with the kicks. Just kicking Brian Myers, aka Kurt Hawkins. Like I said, uh, Kurt Hawkins has a has a losing streak. As of late, His buddy Matt Cardona is not out here at the moment. He's all alone with Alistair Black. Alistair Black just stomping away at Kurt Hawkins, aka Brian Myers, who, however you want to call him now. Taking down one one member of the Major Wrestling Figures podcast. Headlock takedown. Applying pressure to the head of Brian Myers. Or Kurt Hawkins, however you want to call him. I don't care. I mean, if, if it was Cole Quinn, Cole Quinn would probably wouldn't survive a minute against Aleister Black. But hey, you just never know. Stomping away at Kurt Hawkins. You know what? We're just going to call him Brian Myers. Huh? We're just going to call him Brian Myers. I don't care. Devastating knee, taking down Brian Myers. Myers in trouble. Here we go, going for the pin. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That is it. That's it. 
that one little kick took out Brian Myers just like that. Wow. Here is your winner, Alistair Black. I feel bad for Brian Myers right now. Alistair Black picking up the victory. That's got to be something. And Alistair Black. Seems that he's just going to leave Brian Myers there to fend for himself as he's heading back to the locker room with another victory. And up next, we've got Cedric Alexander taking on Cesaro. Ooh. Match we've never seen here on Monday Night Raw. This is a very special moment. Two of two talented athletes going at it in the ring here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The Swiss Superman taking on Cedric Alexander one on one here tonight. There we go, this match is underway, going for a scoop slam. S scoop slamming Cesaro, and here's the cover. There we go, back suplex by Cesaro, by the Swiss Superman, by the Swiss Cyborg. Throwing Cesaro to the corner. Going for a flatliner. Breaking free. We have a bunch of new. We're seeing a bunch of new faces popping up here. Oh, and Cesaro. Flying. Hopping away at Cesaro. See balling a little. A little tribute to MVP. Throwing Cesaro to the corner, going for a crossbody, but Cesaro gets out of the way. Broadcast is lagging again. We apologize for that. There we go. Scoop slam. Oh. I forgot what that move is called, but anyways, here's the cover. And a kick out by, by Cesaro. Fireman's carry just throwing down Cesaro, Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander be thrown off the ropes. Going for another scoop slam by the Swiss Superman. By the Swiss Cyborg or Cesaro, whoever, however you call him. Another Irish rip off the ropes. Going for another scoop slam. Oh, wait, no, reversal. Oh, and throwing Cesaro out of the ring. Like I said before, if the broadcast is lagging, we apologize for that. The broadcast, the, the broadcast team is working hard to fix the, to fix the situation. But it looks to us that it's that it's that it's looking good right now. As Cedric Alexander going for the pin and a kick out by Cesaro. I could see Cesaro as a future Universal Champion here on Monday Night Raw. But receives a devastating clothesline by Cedric Alexander. And Cedric Alexander, what's he going for? Wrenching that arm. Cesaro. Cedric Alexander. Going for a suplex. Ooh. 
Roger Alexander is up. He's up to something. Oh, he's calling Cesaro to get up. Go. Oh, and that clothesline. But that didn't go well as planned. There's the cover. There you go, and a, and a kick out. Patrick Alexander still hyped up. Wanting to put Cesaro away. And the Swiss uppercut. The Swiss uppercut applied. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Uh-oh. Oh, Cedric's going for a swing. You can hear the crowd counting along with Cesaro using his, his strength to swing C Cedric Alexander around the ring. Here's the cover. And another kick out. Cedric Alexander still surviving in this match. Still fighting. Still trying to stay alive. Cesaro with that suit with that swing. Taking down Cesaro. Cesaro. Trying to get out of the headlock. Trying to break free of the headlock. Cedric Alexander's got it. I, the, got, got to break free of that. Oh, an exploder suplex. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What? Rey Mysterio? From Friday Night Smackdown, it's Rey Mysterio. What's going on here? Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Looks like Cesaro called for some backup. And all the way from Friday Night Smackdown. Oh, and looks like Cesaro's backup help basically cost Cesaro the matchup. Well, that wasn't a smart thing to do. That wasn't a very smart thing to do on Cesaro's part. He just cost himself that match. Wow. And up next, it's the women's world champion, Jan Ordonia, teaming up with the Starbucks, Star Butterfly and Mabel Pines to take on Sunset Shimmer. And... The former Raw Women's Tag Team Champions, Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy of the Cloud Steel Crusaders in a six women's tag team match. Star Butterfly and Mabel Pines, former Raw Tag Team Champions as well, along with Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. Two of those teams are former women's champion tag team champions. But could they be able to pick up future victories in order to go after the Raw Tag Team Raw Women's Tag Team Championships. We'll find out in later in later weeks. But right now we're focused on this match. The six women's tag team match here on Monday Night Raw. This should be interesting and a little bit exciting. Or something like that. I don't know.
And it looks like Sunset Shimmer doesn't want to face off against Janna. Looks like Rainbow Dash just wants to. And a flying forearm taking down Rainbow Dash. There we go, armbar. Armbar applied. Rainbow Dash breaking free, fighting in this tag team match. Oh! It's tripping Jenna to the floor. And a sling blade. Rainbow Dash to the top. I have no idea what the fuck I'm saying, but that's all right. Here we go. Off the ro no, not off the ropes to the corner. All going to tag in one of either Star Butterfly or Mabel Pines. Oh, and a DDT on the apron. Mabel Pines throwing Rainbow Dash over her shoulders and now throwing up the two sweets. And a drop kick, single leg drop kick to be exact. Now, Rainbow Dash is going to Irish whip. Mabel Pines off the ropes. Arm drag. Japanese arm drag. Oh, you shouldn't have, be shouldn't have been taunting. Now look what happened. An elbow drop. Hi, right, Mabel Pines. Rainbow Dash back up to the back up to the ropes. Rock five star frog splash, but the knees. And he's coming into coming into play, coming into contact, protecting Mabel from impact from that devastating impact by the five-star frog splash. Now Rainbow Dash throwing Mabel almost out of the ring. Delivers a devastating DDT on the ring apron. Now Rainbow Dash tagging in Fluttershy. Fluttershy is ready. Ready to fight. Oh, but Mabel is going for the DDT, but Fluttershy fights, fights out of it. And a shoulder tackle. Devastating shoulder tackle. Taking down Mabel Pines. And you should have seen Janna and Star Butterfly. I wanted to tag it, be tagged in. And the back body drop applied. Kick to the back. Stomping away. Pines is in trouble here. Oh! One handed choke slam. There we go. Oh, going for that punch. Maybe Pines with a reversal. And a clothesline taking down one half of the Starbucks. Mabel Pines dragging herself to the to her tag team partners. Oh, and Star Butterfly with a drop kick. On a kick to the midsection. Now Fluttershy throwing her off the ropes. Back body drop. Oh, and if Marco Diaz is watching, uh, Jana told me that she still has your house keys, so, yeah. Yeah, Jana still has your house keys. I don't know how she got them, but I'm pretty sure Star gave them to me. Gave, gave them to her. I don't know. That's what I was told. But hey, I'm just a commentator. What do I know? I'm just commentating this match. Oh, and Star Butterfly. Slice. No, that's not sliced bread. No, that's not sliced bread at all. Oh, never mind then. I was about to say sliced bread, but it's not. And the clothesline by Fluttershy. He's Irish whipping Star Butterfly to the corner. S Sunset Shimmer tagged in. Go. No. Off the ropes, going for a splash and a leg drop. These three with excellent tag team chemistry. Back body drop. Drop kick. 
Trap kick applied. Oh, Irish whip. Close line. Oh, and those punches. Those punches should be it. Here's the cover. Nope. Go. For the pipe is a bit. That could be it. Let's cover. And that's it. Jana couldn't even get the job done. She was trying to save her partner, but that's it. Wow. That is sad. And up next, it is the main event, and it is a eight-man either pinfall submission or is it a eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal? I'm not sure yet, but it is a number one contenders match for the Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble. Now we know that Drew McIntyre was was wanting to face Aleister Black. But it would, but, um, what's the word? Yeah, we know that, that, um, uh, Drew McIntyre was granted a number of contenders, but to be fair, there's a lot of people who also want a shot at the Universal Championship. What better way to do that and to have a eight man over either pinfall submission match or a over the top rope battle royal. It could be any of those two match stipulations. So it's Drew McIntyre, AJ Styles, Sammy Callahan, Pac, Edge, Daniel Bryan, Trevor Phillips, and Charlie Bonifer for the uni for a number one contender spot for the Universal Championship. It could be any of these guys. But only one's going to walk out the victor and number one contender for the Universal title. And here we go, this match is underway and Edge going after Rant. Edge going after Drew McIntyre. McIntyre just throwing Edge into the corner. Here we go. Back suplex. Now we're going to find out if this is over the top rope or just a pinfall and submission match. Oh, it is a pinfall and submission match. It's a normal match. OK. 
Okay. Oh, Edge thrown back into the ring. So the rules are you are pinned or you are eliminated if you are pinned or something like that. Or the rope break. Everybody's drawing outside at Edge. Maybe like takedown. by Alistair Black, who's currently holding the title. McIntyre wanting revenge on, on Alistair, taking back what's rightfully his. Oh, and McIntyre taking out AJ Styles now. Shoulder tackle and pop going for the back suplex. Hawk still upset over the fact that he lost the, lost the main event match a few weeks ago against Drew McIntyre when McIntyre was still the Universal Champion. Trevor Phillips, also a former Universal Champion. But we've got a few superstars who want to be Universal Champion like AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, Sammy Callahan, and Edge, and Pac. Those guys have never won the Universal Championship. Drew McIntyre, Charlie Bonifer, Trevor Phillips. Those guys, they, those guys have won the Universal Championship. They also want a, a title shot again. The Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble. It's only a matter of time to see who is the last man standing. Eight man pinfall battle royal the number one contender for the title at the Royal Rumble. On McIntyre, going on the attack of Sammy Callahan. Bonifer's in trouble. McIntyre's going to the top. Oh, and taking down Bonifer. Bonifer is being thrown into the ring post. Oh, back in the ring. Oh, now, going for the... Oh, going for the future shot, but Charlie Bonifer reverses. back on his feet, Edge and Trevor Phelps going at him. Daniel Bryan, what happened? Was that a poison Rana? Applied by Pac? I believe so. Edge being thrown into the ring get by Drew McIntyre. And a suplex to Pac by Daniel Bryan and Trevor Phelps going on the attack of uh, Drew McIntyre. Ryan. On the calf crusher, quiet on the Sammy Callahan. Is he going to? Oh, yes, so. Now Daniel Bryan's in trouble. Face buster. Sammy Callahan. On to AJ Styles. And now he's going after Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's in trouble. Santa Callahan's got him. Oh, maybe not. Oh, and a flying forearm by the Rated R Superstar. And 
Ryan's being thrown around like a rag doll. Edge also going after the McIntyre. Here's the cover. AJ Styles with trouble. The McIntyre on the attack now. On a botched clothesline. There. Much better. Line. Oh, and Daniel Bryan has won the number of contenders off for the Universal Championship. Wow. It appears that Daniel Bryan has won the match and is now the number one contender for the Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble. Here is your winner, Daniel Bryan! It is settled. It is Daniel Bryan taking on Aleister Black this Sunday. At the Royal Rumble, I was almost I was I almost said this Sunday, but it's not it's not here yet. So yeah, it's settled. Daniel Bryan, Alistair Black for the Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble in a few weeks. But we'd like to thank you for joining us for NX for NXT for Monday Night Raw. Excuse me. So thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the show. There was a lot of lagging, but eh, we got through it. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and as always, take care, we'll see you on the next one.